YouTube, what is up, man? It's BJ coming back to you guys with another YouTube video here today. Today, the video is a little different. We're going behind the scenes uh, for a show that my dog Jay White had for YG Tut at the Barrel House Ballroom here in Chattanooga, Tennessee. And as you can see, I'm walking into the venue now. I'm very nice, very nice. Just looking around. And ultimately, man, this video, I'm just going to show like what my dog Jared was doing on the kit. He was also MDing the show. So kind of just getting a behind the scenes look of a drummer that's MDing for a hip hop artist and kind of what that looks like. So I'm going to jump in and show you guys some behind the scenes. The purple and I hope you guys up. enjoy it. Here we go. The purple kit back up. Play ball, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nasty. That's crazy. I didn't know you had this. This is 16, ain't it? Yeah, this one. This is kind of stuff. The mini monster. Yeah. That's what. Know. That's what I want. I want the mini monster, yeah. and then this one goes with the the Sizzler stack. I want this one too. Yeah. yeah this is crazy. Nasty. That's the arrow joint. Yeah. Fast crash. Fierce crash. It's 18. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Evolution. 16. Evolution. It's 14. 20. Went down to 20. 20. 16. I ain't see you play a 20 inch right in a minute. Let's well, say going back to his, his I roots. Like I ain't got no pin. Oh, yeah. This is got no pin. That's brilliant. All oh, the other ones dry. Yeah, it kind of dry. Nasty. So guys, as you can see, my boy brought out the custom drum head he has. I actually used that drum head on a few of my gigs. Uh, <laughs> uh, long story short, but this uh, purple kit that he is using actually belonged to the church that uh, Touch Dad preaches at. So if you guys don't know, YG Tut is a artist from Chattanooga when his kind of like first big mixtape that went off was uh, entitled Preacher's Son. So this funny backstory on that kit and how all this ties together. But as you can see, man, the kit looks super dope, super uh, purpled out with my dog went all Sabian in this gig, which is funny enough because no cap, my boy really is a Zildjian head, but showing love to the Sabians. And I'm gonna let him explain kind of his MD rig that he's using to run tracks and how everything is going. So I'm about to jump into that now, here we go. Explain to the people how you running the show, Jerry. This shit. <laughs> the circumference of this one and this high, high noose of two, it makes 28 drums. And everything else will come through one and two stereo. Mm -hmm. So for click, I got an output three, the third output. Then for 808s, because Tyler run a synth base off his computer, he need a separate out. So once I'm through one or two, mm -hmm. just put a route to four. So it's his own channel. But so click this click the guy's own channel, bass be his own channel for 808s. So he could gauge it, but it won't be all in one or two. So shout out to Jared for that uh very in-depth analysis of his Ableton Live rig. But uh, essentially my boy he was dragging stems over from logic getting bpm and then uh putting them into ableton to run the live show so that kind of was the rig he had and was using but as you can see we still have my dog ryan coming in and ryan is a monster on talk box i have some clips of him later on in the video i'm going to show but for now we're going to switch back kind of going to finish showing uh jared setup so right now we're going to show how he used these symbol joints the little portable uh symbol shields that uh, people use but uh, funny enough he didn't even have to bring these the venue already had them so that was super convenient but it's going to run through how he set these up and then i'm going to check back in with you guys after that how many got two or three four. Oh, four. that shit is wide though You don't have this right for a minute. Huh? We put the flour in the mix today. What you want to do is we'll get two scoops of butter. Apply it right here. Apply it right here. 
Okay, let's go in the sugar. You don't want diabetes. Anything you take the ice off. Add it to the front. I'm about to put closed capsules on all that so people are like, what the? See this, see, see the purple trucks. You think, oh man, he's doing it. I'm broke. But that is good. Lips dry. I'm thirsty. There's a lot going on in there. God is still good. <laughs> Bro, I can't keep a straight face. I don't know where my next meal is going to come from. Yeah, it's a restaurant over there. But God is still good. You getting paid in food for the show? <laughs> Not even that. You paid in love. Yeah, that's the crazy thing. I'm not getting cool. paid in that. Sweet. Cool. Here, here's where I throw my bond. What's I'm getting appreciation? I'm helping I'm helping Brian do sound so I can get paid. I'm doing my own stuff. They don't see that. I'm talking about that. But you guys can see Jared is really a uh, character in itself. <laughs> so we just chilled out. Uh, they still were getting sound check done, uh, miking up overheads and all of that good stuff. And while they were doing that, I walked around and just chopped it up with some other band members that I'm cool with. So here is Talk Box from Mr. Wire and Long. Talk to him, right? Well, I mean, I knew that. <laughs> come on, baby. Come on, 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 down to Barrow House, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, Ryan is a monster, as you guys can see. But, uh, like I said, setup was still going on. DI boxes, getting talk back set up, getting stems and tracks and all that, getting organized. So, Jerry was an Apollo uh, twin, I believe, for his um, main interface, as well as a mixer to run his ears out of. That was the main two things he was showing. Then, of course, the homie Tut shows up for sound check, getting nice and spiffy. Uh, just chopping up with the band before they go over the set list, uh, getting everybody ears ran. So, they were using... I think it was Q-Mix or Mix QC. One of the mix apps that you can just run your ears off of your iPad or iPhone uh, off of the Wi-Fi from the uh, from the uh, uh, the console. So they were just getting all that situated. And then after that, they went to some sound check, got some levels. And I'm going to show you guys a few clips and sound check. So here we go.
So following rehearsal, uh, the switchover happens where the next artist comes up and Jared actually played for that artist as well by the name of T. Riser. But you can see he's playing with his two little girls. They just got out of school slash daycare. So he chopped it up with them for a second before having to get ready for the next set. And then look who I ran into, man. With the, uh, with the, uh. My what up, man? Look at these purple drums. You already know. Came to see these purple drums. Yeah. So if you guys don't know who Noah is, I actually did a video on him like a few months ago. It's like one of my first few YouTube videos where he actually played to get with Tut and Jared was on bass. But man, incredible dope drummer. You guys should check him out. I have everyone's socials in the um, description of this video as well. All the musicians that are in this video in case you want to check anybody out. But I will go ahead and fast forward and show a little bit of t Riser's uh, sound check that they went through. And then the next time you see me, it'll be me and Noah walking into the venue for the show tonight. The Calvin oh. joint. Oh. But I didn't know Mino made sticks, bro. Uh -huh. That's what I thought. I was like, when Mino start making sticks? Shout out to Calvin. C Rod. C Rod, uh. Um. Let's go. <laughs> Calvin, let's go. Alright, dudes. Yeah. I never had a black cover on my dog before. This is this is this is I feel bored. I feel bored. Usually the opening don't have nothing. Yeah. I enjoy this. You too. What's going on, man? It's your boy you DJ. Got my boy Noah right here. We're about to go in and see the homie smack the homie Tut. Is performing and my boy Jared is on kick and MDN, so we're gonna see what they hitting on. Y'all saw the clips earlier from rehearsal, so y'all know it's gonna be crazy. Yes. But here we go. <laughs> Yo, quick check in guys, you can see I'm backstage just chilling uh, in between sets And so I'm going to bring up the artist name on the bottom of the screen who are performing uh, It was one other artist that Jerry actually played drums for uh, I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but I will leave their info in the description once I get it. But um, like I said, he ended up playing with three artists technically this night. So my boy had a full plate, but we're about to jump back into the action and I will catch back up with you guys later. Let's go! I got it. 
YouTube, that is gonna do it for your boy BJ today, man. Super, super shout out to my dog Jared for uh, just hitting me up, you know what I'm saying? Just let me be in the background and just getting some footage of the dope night that went on. My boy was smacking. So, like I said, super shout out to my dog, man. My boy Noah for pulling up. Uh, we just uh, just got some V-roll of shutting down. But other than that, man, that's pretty much gonna do it. Hope you guys like, comment, subscribe to stay updated with all the new stuff that is coming for 2023. It's your boy BJ. I love you guys. Signing off. Peace.